Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about python scipy log normal. Let's see what we are going to cover in this tutorial. First we will know about python scipy log normal. Then python scipy log normal mean. After this python scipy log normal sample. At the end we will know about python scipy log normal fit. Now move to the first topic python scipy log normal. So what is a log normal distribution? A related normal distribution logarithm values are statistically distributed as a log normal distribution. Statistically distributed as a log normal distribution. With the use of related logarithmic calculation, a log normal distribution can be converted into a normal distribution and vice versa. The python scipy has a method log norm in the module scipy.stats which is a continuous random variable that is a log normal. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy.stats.lognorm.method name. The method name can be any method like rvs, cdf, pdf. It can be any method of log norm. Let's know about its parameter where data is collection of values or point that reflect uniformly sampled data as an array of values. Log it is used to provide the mean and has a default value of 0. It is used to compute statistics like the mean kurtosis and standard deviation a scale it is used to indicate the standard deviation which is set to 1 by default let's take an example and compute the probability density of log normal import the required method or libraries so here we are importing module stats from the library scipy then importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt then importing numpy as np at last specify this line percentage matplotlib in line to import or to show the image in this Jupyter notebook. Notebook, execute the code. Define the safe parameter for the log normal distribution. Execute the code. Then create an array of data using the method np.lin space and pass this method to a, another method of log norm.ppf, which is a percent point function with a value 0 0.02, with a value 0 0.02 and, pa and the parameter that we have defined here then compute the probability density of a log normal using the method log norm.pdf by passing the array of data and the parameter s and pass this whole computed value to a method x.plot to a method ax.plot with the values array data to plot the log normal distribution execute the code this is how this is how to generate a probability density of log normal using a method log norm.pdf for python scipy the next topic is python scipy log normal mean the python scipy method log norm accepts a parameter log which is the mean for the log normal distribution using this parameter we can shift the distribution to a different position let's take an example and shift the log normal distribution to a different position import the required method or leverage so here we are importing numpy as np then importing log norm method from the module scipy.stats then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt execute the code now create an array using the method np.arrange by providing three values minus 5 5 and 0 0.3 execute the code now pass the created values to a method log norm.pdf with a value scale equal to 0 0.1 and log equal to 1 here log which is the mean and then plot these values now look at this distribution and notice the position of this distribution again change the mean value to 0 0.9 execute the code now as we can see as soon as we change the value of mean to 0 0.9 we can see that the distribution is shifted towards 0 little bit as here you can see around 2 value 2 and also look at the previous distribution where the mean value was 1 this is how to control the position of log normal distribution using the method log norm of python scipy the next topic is python scipy log normal sample to generate a random number as a sample of the log normal distribution in this topic we will use the method log norm dot rvs of python scipy that exists in a module scipy dot stats the syntax of the method is as follows log norm dot rvs where parameter log is used to provide the mean and has a default value of 0 a scale it is used to indicate the standard deviation of the distribution or the values or the sample that we want to generate size it is the size of the sample s this is the safe parameter for the log normal distribution let's generate a sample with the help of an example import the required method or leverage so import the method log norm from the library scipy.stats 
execute the code, then define the save parameter equal to 0.5 for the log normal distribution and pass this value to a method lognorm.rvs to generate a random sample or random numbers with the size of the sample equal to 2000 execute the code from the output we can see that the array contains random numbers which is the sample generated by the method lognorm.rvs of python scipy the last topic of this tutorial is python scipy log normal fit the python scipy contains a method lognorm.fit to fit the data to a log normal distribution. Let's check an example and fit the data to log normal distribution. Import the required method or library. So import the module stats from the library scipy. Execute the code. Then define the save parameter for the log normal distribution, which is equal to 0.5. Now generate a random number from the log normal distribution using the method log norm.rvs by passing the save parameter value and the size equal to 700 and random state equal to 120. Execute the code. Now pass the web created data to a method log norm dot fit to fit the data to a log normal distribution. And this method return three values. The shape of the log normal distribution, location value of log normal distribution, which is the mean and the scale value of the log normal distribution, which is the standard deviation. Execute the code. So using these three value, we can plot the log normal distribution and see how data is fitted to log normal distribution. This is how to fit the data to log normal distribution using the method log norm dot fit of python scipy. So before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detail post about python scipy log normal on the website pythonguides.com. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about python scipy log normal and learn about how to plot generate random numbers and fit a data to log normal distribution. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.